I'm Bethany Finlian with The Ryersonian, and I'm here with Nathan Dodovich, a real estate expert from PropertyGuys.com. And we're going to be talking about uh, millennials in the housing market, and unfortunately, prices have gone up again in Toronto. Um, that was recently announced, uh, both in January and February, that we've seen record highs in the city. Um, so I wanted to chat with you, Nathan, about how that will affect millennials. So how do you think the, the recent jumps in pricing will affect millennials? Well, I think millennials will continue to look at uh, different options when they're selling their home. As prices have gone up, of course, the traditional uh, real estate commissions have gone up. So uh, more and more millennials that are f uh, comfortable with technology, with new options, are going to look at uh, things like PropertyGuys.com to sell their home. Mm -hmm. And how are millennials different from previous generations in the way they think about buying a home or selling a home? Yeah. So really the internet has changed pretty much every industry around the world and real estate is no different. Um, the main difference is how buyers act. Buyers are online, they're looking at properties for sale, they're more knowledgeable than ever before. And millennials, they've never uh, been in this system where, uh, you know, their own, the only option is the traditional option. So they're, they're very open to new options, they're very tuned into the online world, and so new options like PropertyGuys.com are high on their radar and they're very open to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so how should millennials, like, enter this market? Um, what should they be doing or should they be thinking about? You mentioned the online research. Yep. Yeah. So one thing that uh, uh, people may not realize is because often millennials, you know, they're, these are the first time buyer crowd. Mm -hmm. And often they'll go and they'll look to, uh, to use a traditional uh, real estate agent. Uh, what they don't realize sometimes is that uh, there's a cost associated with that. People kind of think that it's free. Uh, but really when you look at it, um, you know, that uh, real estate agent that uh, is helping the buyer uh, they're making a, a commission of about two and a half percent and you know that's part of the mortgage that's part of the uh, the price that you pay for the home uh, so really the buyer in some ways is paying for that as well so my advice is to do research yourself look at there's lots of new options out there uh, and try and get the best deal the most uh, and what's most comfortable for people but yeah really do your research and just don't look at the uh, only the traditional model uh, there's certainly much better solutions out there mm -hmm. And I would think like with this particular generation that like choosing to do online research or look for cheaper options is kind of essential, being that they're the generation carrying student debt and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, when, you, when you look at um, the, the amount of commission that most people pay throughout their lives, uh, if they sell four or five homes, you tack on uh, the amount that of interest that's paid throughout a mortgage, it ends up being in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So mm -hmm. this is an amazing way in, in today's society where especially new students are, uh, have more debt than ever before, this is an amazing way for them to save some money. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And what kind of properties do you see millennials buying and when? Yeah. So typically, um, you know, the, it, it's amazing to see kind of the, the life cycle of people in Toronto. Uh, they'll start out usually renting a condo. Uh, they may buy kind of a one bedroom, one plus den condo. Uh, they'll own that for three or four years. Uh, typically, then they'll move to a townhouse or a larger condo, also downtown. Uh, and then often, once they kind of get married and start to have kids move out of the city. So there's a very kind of typical lifespan mm -hmm. of, uh, of this type of property for people living in Toronto. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. And it definitely helps, I think, students understand better a little bit about the retail housing market because that's something that's in our near future. So, all right. I'm Bethany for the Ryersonian, and this has been Nathan Donovich.